Hi there, and welcome to another Sotin Brain Hub video. My name is Emma, and today we'll be talking about the Glasgow Coma Scale. The Glasgow Coma Scale is a clinical scale used to measure someone's level of consciousness after a brain injury. It is useful to track trends and changes in the patient to see whether their condition is improving or declining. The Glasgow Coma Scale assesses a person based on three components, their ability to perform eye movements, speak and move their body. The highest possible score is 15, fully conscious, and the lowest possible score is three, which would indicate the patient is in a coma or dead. Eye movements are scored out of four. If the eyes open spontaneously, so you walk in and the patient is looking at you, and the eyes can follow objects around the room, that is four points. If they don't, you speak to the patient, saying good morning or asking them a question. If they open their eyes to your voice, that is three points. If they don't open their eyes in response to sound, you would then assess eye opening to pain. This could be done in a few different ways, either by applying pressure with a pen to fingertips or a trapezius squeeze, which is squeezing of the patient's trapezius muscles. If the patient does not open their eyes at all, this scores one point. If they can't open their eyes due to trauma or bandages, you would record it as not testable, NT. You would then move on to a verbal response, which is scored out of five. With verbal, you would ask a couple of orientation questions, such as name and date of birth, and if they answer these questions correctly, you would put that as orientated, and that would score a five. If they're answering the questions wrong, you would give them a score of four, as confused. If they are answering questions with inappropriate words, so a completely different topic to the question asked, that would be a score of three, with inappropriate words. If they are using incomprehensible sounds, such as grunts or moans, you would give them a score of two. If there's no response, that is a score of one. Motor response is scored out of six. When you're testing this, you need to ask the patient to do two part motor commands. If they're able to follow commands, that is a six. If they are unable to follow commands, but can recognize pain and make a movement across their body to remove the pain, that would score a five. If they are withdrawing from painful stimuli, but not making a movement to actually stop it, this would score a four. Next, we have decorticate posturing to a painful stimulus, also known as abnormal flexion. This typically involves a patient being stiff with adducted arms, internal shoulder rotation, elbow and wrist flexion, and pronation of the forearm. This would score a three. Decerebrate posturing, also known as abnormal extension, would score a two. This typically involves an extended head, arms and legs on one or both sides of the body. The patient is often rigid with their teeth clenched. Both indicate severe brain damage, but decerebrate posturing is more indicative of damage at the rubrospinal tract, indicating a problem lower in the brainstem. No response to a painful stimulus would score one. When added together, a GCS of 3 to 8 is considered a severe brain injury. 9 to 12 is considered moderate. 12 to 15 is considered mild. A score of less than 8 would be an indication to intubate due to loss of airway reflexes and risk of aspiration. Scores can be impacted by baseline, sedation or injury. For example, a severe facial injury leading to eyes being swollen shut. Find us on Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.